Hello friend, welcome. Uh, in this video, let's continue building our Java chess project in Eclipse. Okay, so we have a chess model. We need uh, to contain um, a set of pieces, right? So we don't have the class for pieces. Let's create one. Um, right click here, new class so let's do chess piece okay now think about what kind of uh, properties we need right fields to represent a chess piece so we need its location right um, like a column Let's put um, private here and uh, maybe we don't need private for this simple thing here and we, yeah we'll add that if needed right later column row and uh, what else rank right like oh uh, I think prayer so let's create an inan for that um, is it like that inan um, so we have white prayer and uh, black Prayer. And another enough we need is rank. All right? So we'll have like king, queen, um, bishop, and uh, like rook and the knight and the pawn now we can use that to define our um, the properties of our piece so prayer prayer and uh, rank rank and that's also keep the I'm not sure do we need to keep the image name for that so image name like that let's put it here and uh, save it now let's define a set of our um, pieces so we we'll use um, the Java data type right correction type set so this guy Java dot util utility so what is the element type of course our chess piece right like that so oh this one we can put it private here to protect it so what's name pieces box okay and uh, equals let's create a, a empty one hi yeah so now this set is is interface type so to create an concrete object right we need a, a non we need a class here so hash set yeah this guy and uh, can we do that okay so I think we need to specify the generic type here wait a minute the missing part is new is that okay what does complain add the type of arguments okay so that's good type argument type argument yeah 
So now we have that. We can create a reset. Um, method to put our initial 32 pieces inside this piece bo pieces box, right? So let's define the one here, reset. So um, let's insert the, this guy first, okay? So here, this is column zero, row seven will be our brack, brack rook, okay? So pieces box, pieces box to add, we need to create a chess piece, right? Chess piece and uh, oh, I think we need a constructor here. Is there any way to create a automatically create generate? Um, like constructor initializer for us. Um, source, add import, clean up, generate element, comment no, um, generate, generate constructs to using fields. Okay, maybe this one. Oh, nice. So select the super, hmm? Generate construct using fields. Okay, that's what we need. Generate. Oh, cool. It saves a lot of typing. Okay. And uh, I think by convention, we put this one at top. And uh, yeah, that's the created constructor. Cool. Now save it and we can go back to here. Um, so how can we create, uh, let's make it a little bit wider for our working area. That. So tests, we can make it smaller. Now is there any auto fix here? Create method, no. Um, is there any new create? No. Why there's no auto complete here? Control space, open. So that's add it one by one. Okay, so column is zero. I think I, I don't think it's so stupid. Let's see if we can do like, mm -hmm. chess piece, P equal chess piece. Is there any? Hmm? Interesting, there's no auto complete for this guy. Okay, I have to add it one by one. So the order is colon, row, player, rank. Okay, image name. Prayer is prayer dot break. And the rank is rank dot. This one is rook, right? Our first one. An image name, a string. Oh, sorry about that. 
that's we do it I think the reason is I missed the new here uh -huh. so coming from <laughs> yes yes uh? can we enter no okay so still well we still need to type everything can we double click that there's no yeah placeholder that's it so zero and seven and the prayer dot rack and the rank dot rook and the image name what is our image name let's check here okay compile yeah it compiles so image name here oh for black rook is is this guy rook dash black lowercase okay so rook dash black dot png and we can we can handle the dot png thing uh, in the central place so now we have one piece right here and uh, now let's modify this two string description of the board to include the, the piece there and we want to figure out so if it's empty we just put a dot there right otherwise if we're, if there's a piece there we can print out a letter representing the piece okay so how can we get out a piece let's create a, fun a method for uh, this purpose okay so like let's define the so piece at okay so we'll return a chess piece here piece at like a colon and the uh, row okay so we'll loop through our pieces box to check each piece for each chess piece okay in piece pieces box so if chess piece not not this one chess piece the second one ah chess piece this guy dot colon equals this colon right this colon and chess piece dot row is same as this row right then we find it we find it so we can return this chess piece after we check everyone in the pieces box and we cannot find it we return now like that so here we loop through all the uh row and the column right so we can we can uh to get the piece from that location chess piece p equals piece at column and row yeah so if else so if p is now right we can we can just put a dot there obviously and if not we do have a piece okay so for now um yeah we need to check the rank for example maybe we need to output the uh, capitalized r for black rook and the lowercase r for 
like a white rook. Uh, we'll do that in our next video. So for this one, let's make let's assume we have only one, right? So we can output this single piece here. Um, this is our okay um, because we have a black rook. So let's put a capitalized R there. Okay, now let's test it. Go to here and run again. What? Um, oh, we haven't we haven't called this guy to add the piece there. So let's do it. Chess model dot reset okay so reset that means we reinitialize redeploy uh, all the 32 pieces but for currently we have only one okay now let's try it again run it yes this is our first piece there okay thank you for watching see you next